Well, it's quite difficult to confirm the information uh, coming out of there because Papua New Guinea and Australia make it quite difficult for journalists to visit uh, the detention centre. However, these protests we think have been going on for about a week. Uh, there were reports from refugee groups last week saying that several hundred uh, detainees uh, were, were uh, using a hunger strike to protest against their conditions. We had reports of a number of detainees stitching their lips together, even one swallowing razor blades. And now over the weekend, it seems that a number of detainees have barricaded them inside uh, one compound within this complex uh, and are not letting the guards in. And have the detainees managed to get some information out, though I understand that they've been sending some photographs to various news organisations? They've been sending photographs. There is some video footage that has come out. There is a letter uh, that's been written today and sent out to a number of journalists. In that, it says some detainees would be willing to die and donate their organs uh, to Australians just so they could taste a bit of freedom. And the situation at Manus Island is difficult for Australia. You've got more than a thousand people being detained there and they must feel like there is no prospect really of them being released. Australia has said that even if they are given refugee status, they will not be resettled in Australia. They will be resettled in Papua New Guinea. That's as part of a deal uh, signed last year. And uh, that means that these people uh, are stuck in this detention center because basically Papua New Guinea has failed to resettle anyone yet. And obviously people who are thinking they might end up in Australia, many uh, saying they're fleeing desperate situations don't really fancy uh, settling in Papua New Guinea.